lot of these fires are in the Sierra Nevada or the adjacent foothills. So when you have the easterly wind, it pushes the smoke right back into the valley, and then you have that bathtub bowl effect where it all just sinks into the valley and the particulates don't really have anywhere to go. That interaction of the weather and the elements, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Hanford, Andrew Bullenbacher, is talking about, causing this, a smoky haze over much of the San Joaquin Valley here in Kern County. Earlier this week, the smoke getting trapped in the Kern River Valley from the windy fire blazing north of Kern County. On Saturday, an official of the Kern Valley Health Care District telling 23 ABC how smoke from nearby wildfires has affected their residents over the past week. Writing in part, we have seen an uptick of ER visits due to the fire. During the last two fires, we have seen patients with eye irritations, headaches, and breathing problems. We treat them in our ER with a breathing treatment and they are good to go. People are also experiencing depression because of the smoke. Kern Valley Hospital does not have an ICU. For anyone requiring a higher level of care, we stabilize the patient so they can be safely transported, end quote. And here in Bakersfield, the air quality is not much better. If you take a look behind me, smoke as far as the eye can see. According to IQ Air, the air quality has since improved in the Kern River Valley. But now, according to the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District, those conditions worsening in Bakersfield Sunday with an AQI of 157 or unhealthy for the average person. But the good news, Bullenbacher says, Kern County should start seeing an active weather pattern midweek next week or early the week after. We may see an opportunity for those winds to start coming out of the southwest. So maybe we get a reprieve from the smoke later this week, but... You know, I don't want to jinx the forecast or anything. In Bakersfield, Kristen Varton, 23ABC News, connecting you.